Let's face it, the Fairfax County area where Fort Belvoir is located is a large area. If it was a city, it would be the 10th largest city in America. The good news is that Fort Belvoir is located in the southern part of Fairfax County, which is much more suburban, and it offers you a wide variety of housing options for various budgets. This video is going to be different than our previous videos because we're going to share with you some places you can live that are 15 30 and 45 minutes away from Fort Belvoir. Hopefully this information will help you see what type of options you have if you increase your commute slightly. Let's start the show. Hi, my name is Abraham Walker and this is Where to Live in Northern Virginia. As your local real estate agent, I do the research so you don't have to. If you're PCS into Fort Belvoir, you've come to the right place. Use the link in the description to fill out your perfect home questionnaire. After you fill out that questionnaire, we'll schedule a time to meet online and I'll answer any questions you have about relocating to the Northern Virginia area. Be sure to check out my playlist, Where to Live in Fairfax County for similar videos like this one. Enough about me, here are the areas you can live that are 15, 30, and 45 minutes away from Fort Belvoir. Let's start with the places that are closest to Fort Belvoir. These locations are going to get you to Fort Belvoir in 15 minutes. Some of them you'll even be within 10 minutes of the gates. One of the most popular areas and the closest to Fort Belvoir is the Greater Kingstown area. The reason why we call it the Greater Kingstown area is because Kingstown is a subdivision that you can find on a map, but there are several smaller subdivisions that are around Kingstown that represent the Greater Kingstown area. So if you talk to locals that live in these smaller subdivisions like Island Creek, Hayfield Farm, they'll say, I live in Kingstown. So that's what we call it. Kingstown is located just outside the North Gate entrance. Because of its proximity to the North Gate, you can see why a lot of people like to call Kingstown home that are stationed at Fort Belvoir. Even the Walker family calls Kingstown home and we have since 2013. If you live in Kingstown proper, you get access to resort-like amenities, including the swimming pools, fitness center, and tennis courts. Another thing that makes Kingstown special is that there's some entertainment options that are also available within the area. We have a movie theater and we also have a strip mall that is called the Kingstown Town Center if you wanted to look that up. Having all these creature comforts so close to you mean that you don't have to go far for basic needs or light entertainment. Another bonus to living in Kingstown is that we have quick access to the interstate and a metro station. Homes in Kingstown proper were built in the mid to late 90s. Most of Kingstown proper is going to consist of townhouses, but there are pockets of single family homes. Speaking of single family homes, Hayfield Farms is another popular location in the greater Kingstown area. The cool thing about living in Hayfield Farms is that you get a substantial lot, whereas in Kingstown, that isn't the case. Let's stay in Alexandria, Fairfax County for a little bit and talk about another location that's within 15 minutes of Fort Belvoir called Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is another popular place for military personnel relocating to this area. Now in Mount Vernon, there are some townhomes, but most of the housing inventory in that location is going to be single family homes. If you like larger homes on large lots, then Mount Vernon is going to be the ideal place for you. In addition to the large lots, you'll also find beautiful parks in Mount Vernon, along with some of the homes that are actually along the Potomac River with water views. And yes, the water view homes come with water view prices. Mount Vernon is located off of Richmond Highway, which is also known as Route 1. Route 1 is going to be the location of most of your stores and your grocery stores for the Mount Vernon area. Before the interstate was completed in this area, Route 1 was the main way to travel. Next up is Lorton, which is the furthest south you can go in Fairfax County. This is another area that you can get to Fort Belvoir in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what part of Lorton you stay in. Two subdivisions come to mind that are going to put you closest to Fort Belvoir with a large number of housing options. They are Laurel Hill and Lorton Station. Each one of these subdivisions has both townhomes and single family properties. The one cool thing about Lorton is that it was primarily developed after Kingstown, so the properties are going to be a little newer. Properties in Lorden are built in the early 2000s. You probably already guessed it, since these properties are newer, that means that the lots are also going to be smaller. Next up on our list are communities with a 30 minute commute to Fort Belvoir. The more you open your commute up, the more that's available to you. In this section, we're just gonna highlight some of the popular areas 
that we find most of our clients that are relocating to this area choose when they're PCSing to Fort Belvoir. Because of its size, we're going to focus on two sections of Fairfax County. Focusing on the Northeast, we're going to see communities like Holland Hills and Huntington that offer two different types of housing options. The Huntington area consists of duplexes and condos. If you don't know what a duplex is, it's really just another term for a townhouse. And like Mount Vernon, Huntington is located close to Richmond Highway. A cool feature that Huntington has over some other locations is that it actually has its own metro stop. Now the metro stop isn't going to be that important to you because you're just probably going to drive into Fort Belvoir, but if you had a roommate or if you had a spouse that was going to be working, easy access to local job bases through the metro is ideal. Next up we have Holland Hills and the Fort Hunt area. Now Fort Hunt has single family homes that are pretty pricey and may not be accessible to most people PCSing to Fort Belvoir. But I want to make sure I mention it in case you see it online and you notice that these houses look really nice. One of the coolest areas that's within a 30 minute drive to you is Holland Hills. What people like most about Holland Hills is that you're not getting a cookie cutter house. You have interesting houses with no one house being just alike. Let's finish up in Fairfax County in the northwestern part of the county. I would say that the best bang for your buck is going to come in the Burke and Springfield area. Both of these locations have single family homes and townhomes that are on nice sized lots. The one drawback to living in these areas is that the houses are going to be a little bit older. Now that we've talked about what Burke is known for, in Springfield, West Springfield is what's popular amongst most of the locals. The main reason is the top rated elementary school and high school. So if schools are important to you, look into the West Springfield Pyramid. Since Springfield and Burke are more bedroom communities, you still have access to creature comforts like grocery stores, coffee shops, and the occasional restaurant. Now that we've finished talking about Fairfax County, let's talk about Alexandria or City of Alexandria. Yes, I know it's confusing because there's also a section called Alexandria Fairfax County. Why is that the way? I don't know. I really don't, but that's just how it is here. The City of Alexandria is a typical city. There's several different subdivisions and neighborhoods. The most noteworthy neighborhood in the City of Alexandria is going to be Old Town. In addition to being located right off the Potomac River, Old Town has some of the old oldest housing stock in Northern Virginia. These historic homes can be pricey and small. One of the most popular areas in Old Town is going to be King Street. King Street is where all of the shops, restaurants, and attractions are for the Old Town area. Not far from King Street in Old Town is going to be Del Rey. Del Rey is a charming section of the city of Alexandria that has mostly single family homes, but the real reason why it's special is its little strip of commerce that has restaurants, ice cream parlors, and one of the best hamburger shops in the area. The last place I want to note in the city of Alexandria is called Camera Station. In my opinion, Camera Station is really like a little Kingstown, except that there's more congestion, the prices are a little bit higher, and there's not as much green space. So overall, homes in the city of Alexandria are going to be more expensive than Fairfax County. So that wraps up the communities that are located within 30 minutes of Fort Belvoir. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It costs you nothing and this will help me get these videos out to more people just like you. If you already live in the area and you're watching the video, let me know in the comment section what area do you like the most and what is your commute. But let's get back to our last segment of the show where we talk about communities that are located 45 minutes from Fort Belvoir. To be honest with you, 45 minutes is like the normal commute for most people in the Northern Virginia area. Since Fort Belvoir is at the southern part of Fairfax County, it takes about 45 minutes to get to the other side of Fairfax County. So we're gonna say that all of Fairfax County is accessible to you. It'll be challenging for you to get to Loudoun County in 45 minutes or less. So we're not gonna mention Loudoun in this video, but you should know that Loudoun is a great place to live. It has top rated schools, newer housing stock, and it's always in the news. One thing you should consider is that at the time that this video was being made, there was a global pandemic going on. We don't really know what the traffic pattern is going to be once the pandemic is over. In addition to all of Fairfax County, that's now available to you, you can also make it to Arlington County and Prince William County. Before we talk about those other counties, let's talk about a few noteworthy places that are in Fairfax County that should be on your list if they're not already. At that 45 minute mark, the places that you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck are Centerville, Chantilly, Herndon, and Reston. Now, if your budget is a little bit higher, you can also look at houses in Clifton, 
Falls Church, Great Falls, and McLean. The thing about Fairfax County is the places that have the more expensive houses are usually going to have the higher rated public schools. Next up is Arlington County. Arlington County is along the Potomac River and a stone's throw away from Washington, D.C. I mean, literally, you take the bridge from Arlington to get to D.C. The cool thing about living in Arlington is that you almost get like a little city feel, but the prices of the properties are going to be more expensive than Fairfax County. We found that more people that are PCS into the Pentagon are choosing to live in Arlington versus Fort Belvoir. However, if your goal is to live in a condo, then Arlington may be the place for you because there are so many options for condos and high rises. Like I mentioned before, Arlington gives you that big city feel that you just won't get living in Fairfax County. Last up on our list is Prince William County. If you want more space, Prince William County is going to be the place for you. In addition to having houses that are a little bit newer, they're on much larger lots. Lots. So the extra commute time will buy you more space and probably afford you a house that you're probably used to living in other parts of the country. The noteworthy places in Prince William County are Woodbridge, Manassas, and Dumfries. So there you go. Those are a few areas you can live 15, 30, and 45 minutes within Fort Belvoir. My goal with this video was to help you start your research process. After you watch this video, you should be able to narrow down just where you're looking. Well, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out my other video on PC PCSing to Port Belvoir. If you have any questions, you can post them down below in the comment section. If you're ready to have a one-on-one -on -one session, click the link in the description to fill out your perfect home questionnaire and we'll schedule some time to meet online. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.